Hey kids and young adults with hipster swag. Tired of looking through all the interwebs and can't seem to find that unicorn NES classic. Instead, you have to go on eBay and spend a grand or more on one. What are you going to do? Also, how 2016 was the year that you told little Billy here that Santa Claus isn't real and how he looked at you with those beady big eyes. Yep, the big red man is no more. Well, get your keister off this bench because there's no need to worry when you have a galaxy in your pocket. Hey guys, I'm glad you made it back. Today, I wanted to show every one of you an alternative to the NES Classic by using your Galaxy phone or some Android devices. Sorry, you can't do this on an iPhone because I couldn't find no emulators or screen mirroring features on it without purchasing something with AirPlay. Well, here I have my S6 and the $8 remote I reviewed a couple of weeks back. The cool things about the Samsung Galaxy phones is that you can mirror your screen to any TV or Google enabled device like a Google Chrome. Also, Android's ability to accept ROMs and emulation. What the heck does that mean? Well, let me show you. In this video, I will be using my old but dependable 2011 LG 50 inch plasma and my Google Chrome since this TV is not a smart TV. I do have the smart one in my bedroom. It'll be all connected through my Rocketfish HDMI 4 port selector that I bought at Best Buy. The setup may look ugly right now because I mostly use my Xbox 360 as my main media center. But it's very simple to cast your phone screen on the Chromecast. As you guys can see, I have pre-installed the NES emulation app and have managed to download all 30 games from the NES Classic and plus more games through the power of ROMs and emulation. So let me show you. First, you have to go to the Google Play Store and search Free NES Emulator. Once you download it, open it up and you will not see any games yet because you're going to have to download them from the website called MPU or MU Paradise. It's kind of hard to say it. MU Paradise. So here, you can search for any game that has ever existed for the NES from the United States, European, South American, or even Japan. What got me excited were some Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z titles. Can you do that on the NES Classic? Heck no. So, let's start downloading. First, let's select the game. And let's see here, I'm going to choose... Uh, let me see, so many to choose from. Can't decide. Um, let's get a rare one. Let's see. Uh, there's double. Yeah, as you can see, I already downloaded Double Dragon. Let's check here. You know what? I'm going to choose uh, this Japanese Dragon Ball Z title. So you can see, here's the ROM. The process is a little complex, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be popping games like nothing. So, how to do it? Okay, let's get started. First, you click on the link where it says direct download. You kind of have to scroll a little bit down to find it. Make sure there's a file size of some sort. You'll have to wait about 15 seconds if you have the free site. And if you don't have the premium, you have to watch these damn ads. Next, you'll be prompted to open up the zip file. So, but you don't want to do that. Instead, you have to go back to the emulator and bang, you'll find it there in the list. Let's open it, shall we? And there it is. Oh my god. How awesome is this? So the game starts here. This is the Dragon Ball Z Japanese edition. This is so cool. 
Alright. You can see Goku's ship flying into Earth. That's Vegeta's face. Well, at least we know the installation process and the game work. But how do you play on a bigger screen? Let me unlock this phone and click on my Chromecast app. Now remember, you have to have this app installed. So you have to download it from the Google Store. But once you download it, you have to connect it to your Google Chrome device, which is a flawless, easy setup. So let's cast this screen. Let's push it right here to cast the screen. It found my device, and bang, there it is. What you're watching on your phone screen is now on the TV. How cool is that? And you kind of figure out what's going to happen next. Alright guys, let me walk you through it. Alright, so we're going to go right back to the NES app. And let's choose a game here. Let's choose one that everybody knows. Let's do uh, Super Mario Brothers. Let's, let me search for it. Let me, let me see this here. There it is. Let's do it. Okay. So here's the screen. Okay, so let's choose player one. I'm playing this with my $8 remote, guys, so... It's kind of hard to handle record and handle at the same time, so... But, as you can see, I can jump. Let me walk through this. That little mushroom guy just killed me right here. Yes, it's kind of hard to play and watch it at the screen. Well, on my phone screen while I'm recording, so... Boom. Let me jump here, and... Okay, well it looks like we're going. I'm just demonstrating you guys how it works. I'm not gonna fly through this whole level. But I just want to show you guys that it works. It's in high definition, it's working off the Wi-Fi, but it's also work working off an HDMI cable. So let me get here. This has very little lag to no lag, so it's, it's pretty cool. So you can see I'm walking through it. Eight dollar remote works wonderfully. Should I go down this pipe? Nah, let's keep going. Boom. Boom, and there I go. <laughs> well, enough of this game. Let's end this game. You guys can see what I'm doing on the TV screen. Let's choose another legendary game. If you guys had an NES, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Yep, The Legend of Zelda. This game was made the same year I was born, 1986. I remember having the gold cartridge off this thing. Well, as you start the game, we're going to have to create a username. Well, now... Back then it was called register your name. With today's luxuries, selecting off this keyboard here, it's sort of, sort of stressing. Because <laughs> it takes time and, you know, it has to make that noise. So once you select it, the letter, it has to take time to select the next one. Well, we got it. Here I just put my initials and we start. So here's the screen. Who remembers this screen right off the NES? Yes, you could do this on the NES Classic. But you could also do this on this phone. How cool is that? So let's go right inside here and receive our sword. If I can remember correctly, when I was a kid, you have to go through here first to receive your weapon. Let me walk around here. It's kind of hard to, to control and record at the same time. Come on, baby. There we go. Alright, let's go right back outside. Alright, let's head on... Head on east, guys. Alright, there's the bad guys. As you can see, here I have the inventory screen. So let's, let's shoot these guys here. So it works just the same as back in the day, guys, so... You don't have to spend any money. If you have the phone, you have the power. 
Nintendo power, I guess. <laughs> so let's make around. I'll make our way around this world here. Let's go right back. Yep. There's a lot of monsters here. I just told my girlfriend that she should take an adventure here. She likes uh, role playing games, RPGs, as well as these platform games. So no, she should take an adventure here. But there are many games that you could play, many adventures, many sports. Right now I want to choose a classic, one of my favorites, and I think everybody in this world have played it, even if you don't like game, uh, video games. Yep, Pac-Man. And uh, through the power of the NES back in the day, it could handle these graphics, not like the Atari. But now you can play it at home, through your phone, which is a, quite a luxury. If only, if only we had this technology back then, how cool would that be? The struggle was real back then. Here I'm playing Pac-Man, a ghost. I'm just showing you guys the game. I'm not going to play it fully because I know I'm going to die right now because it's kind of hard to record and play at the same time. I know I sound redundant, but I'll keep repeating it because the internet is a cruel, cruel world. And I know the comments may not be nice saying I suck or whatnot. So here I die. There we go. Hope you guys are happy. <laughs> All right, let's go right back to the screens, to the game library. It's not as fancy as the NES Classic game library, and the gameplay is not nostalgic, but it's not like the system itself. The NES Classic itself has this nice fancy screen. Here you have to go through the ROM screen, which is something because you can still play it. Well, let me show you the setup here. As you can see, something that this advantages over the NES Classic Mini is there is no wires. It's just working off the Wi-Fi network. So you don't have to be stuck right in front of your screen burning your corneas trying to play this game. I heard that the NES Classic does come with a two-foot wire, which is a very, very short wire for today's times. And now with the times of wireless technology, I'm standing here right across the living room playing the game. Look at that. And you can see my phone right there, right on the table. Look, I can control it. How far can I go? Nobody knows. <laughs> well, as long as, uh, as far as your Bluetooth uh, helps you enable. Here I'm walking back and you can still play the game. You can't do that on the NES Classic. If I had it, it would be hanging right off my chimney there. So what's next for Nintendo? Well, I heard that the SNES Classic is coming out, which is Super Nintendo Entertainment System. But fortunately, through the power of the galaxy, it's already here. Let's go right back to the Google Play Store. And let's look for that app, shall we? So let's type in SNES or S, yeah, SNES. Let's look for the emulator. Bang! John SNES Lite. One of the best emulators you could find. I know it says 4.2, but I guess if you play on crappier phones, it, it's a 4.2. <laughs> but here I'm playing, playing on the 8 core Samsung Galaxy S6. So I will be looking for uh, that. I will be doing a review of that as well as Sega Genesis emulators. That's the beauty of Android. It's very, very flexible. So you can always find what you need. I'm not going to say nothing about Apple, but they don't really let you do that. <laughs> and if you guys want to pick up this remote as well, yeah, it's, it's okay. I mean, I prefer other remotes. I bet you the Samsung official remote works better. But for 8 bucks, this is worth a shot. So I give this setup two thumbs up. Now, let me show you the same game I showed you in the beginning of this video. The Dragon Ball Z Japanese edition. Of course, I don't really think it came out in the United States. Remember I showed you in the smaller screen right on the phone? Well, this is on the bigger screen. There's Vegeta's face again. Pretty cool, huh? 
So let's go right back to the menu screen and I'm gonna choose the original Dragon Ball. And I love how it has the original sound in it. Well guys, this is Taurus3800, logging out. Happy holidays my friends.